In this video we will be looking at percentage increase and decrease. Now we will be looking at two of the main examples that you may get asked in your GCSE exams. So the first type of question is something more standard like this and it just tells you straight up what to do. So we are asked to increase 60 by 25%. Now what I like to do is I take my percentage and I think in my head I want to break it down into building blocks. So 25% I can do 10% 10% and 5% to make 25. So bear this in mind. So firstly, I always like to use these equations. So we can say that 100% is equal to 60. Now we know that we want these three percentages here, or these two, 10 and 5. Now to get to 10% from 100%, what do we have to do? Now this may take some thinking for some people, as you do more practice you will get used to this, but to get from 100 to 10 we simply divide by 10. And because we do that on the left hand side, we must also do that on the right hand side. So 60 divided by 10 is going to leave us with 6. Now we also need 5%. And again, we could do this all the way from 100%, but 10% will be a lot easier, so to get from 10% to 5% we just divide it by 2. So again, whatever you, do to the, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side, just like with fractions. So 6 divided by 2 is going to leave us with 3. So from that, we can conclude that 25% is going to equal 6 plus 6 plus 3, because that's 10% plus 10% plus, plus 5%. So 6 plus 6 is 12, add 3 to that gives us 15. Now if we need to increase 60 by 25%, we need to do 60 plus that 15. So 60 plus 15, our answer is going to be 75. Okay, now a more real life example, the other type of question you may be asked in your exams. A shop has a sale of 35% off. An item originally costs £120. How much would it be in the sale? So this is an example of a decrease. So again, what we have to do is we set our £120 as 100%. There's two ways we could do this. We need to make 35%. The best way to do this is again to think of our reduction as the building blocks. So this time we've got three lots of 10% and one lot of 5%. So that is what we need to work out. So again... 10% and 5% we can write in advance this time. And just like before, to get from 100% to 10%, we need to divide by 10. And 10% 10 to 5%, we divide by 2. So doing the same on the other side, dividing by 10, and then dividing by 2 for the 5%. 120 divided by 10 gives us 12, and 12 divided by 2 gives us 6. Now remember how we need 3 lots of the 12, lots of the 10%, and one lot of the 5%, which is 6. So 3 times 12 gives us 36, 1 times 6 is obviously 6. Add those together to get 35%, and we see that is 42. Now that is £42 off of the original 120, so we can do 120, take away 42, and that is going to be £78. Thank you for watching and I hope that helped.